Hi, I'm Eric Aaron, and I'm an assistant professor of computer science here at Wesleyan University. I'm in my Artificial Intelligence Dynamic Intelligence Group lab room, where I work on artificial intelligence for what's called embodied agents, things like animated characters in virtual worlds or robots moving through the real world. I'm in my lab with my graduate students. This is Ted Nichols, and right now he's working on artificial intelligence for animated characters in virtual worlds. And this is Juan Pablo Mendoza, and he's working on code for what we've been working on a lot recently, which is robot navigation. Robot navigation is a harder problem than you might think. It's actually not all that hard to get a robot to figure out how to move through the world if you know everything about the world in advance and the world doesn't change while the robot's moving. But picture a robot courier moving through the hallways in a hospital or an office building. Things move around it, people or carts in the hallways. Now there are some methods that are pretty good at this, including one that we're working with that is great at adapting to real-time changes in the world. The downside to this method is that it's hard to get it tuned just right for best performance every time. We're working to improve that. When you tune a robot so that it can handle a simple situation well, sometimes more complicated ones are difficult. Here's a recording of a red robot that needs to avoid both a pink robot and the purple lines representing walls to get to a target location that's indicated by the yellow circle in the back. It can avoid the pink robot okay, but to get it tuned to do that, it doesn't do so well with the walls. Similarly, we could tune a robot so that it manages the walls just fine. And trust me, we retuned the red robot in this demo so that it does. But then it could have trouble avoiding the moving obstacle. Here, the red robot tries to avoid the pink robot in front of it, but that's not what we wanted it to do. But real robots work in unpredictable environments, and they may need to avoid moving obstacles and manage walls and do whatever else may come up. So our work tries to make it easier to tune robots so that they work in many situations, like this red robot that uses our new ideas. It avoids the other robot, manages the walls, and successfully reaches its target location at the back of the room. This is all still a work in progress. We're still working on polishing the ideas, making sure we get everything right before we submit it for peer-reviewed scholarly publication. But we've done over a million simulations so far, and things look good, maybe both have an impact in robot navigation and for animated characters as well. We'll just have to see how the tests turn out. So stay tuned, there's more good stuff coming up. All right, Juan Pablo, what's next?